What's the difference between an epidural and a spinal? Which is better? Do they feel different? Let's talk about that. The biggest difference is placement. An epidural is placed somewhere very uh, appropriately called an epidural space, and that is basically just the space between the dura mater membrane and the vertebral wall, which is the space right outside of the sac that contains the spinal fluid as well as the spinal cord. The spinal block is actually placed inside of that sac and the medication is injected directly into the spinal fluid. Another major difference is that the spinal is actually just an injection of medication, again, that goes right into the spinal fluid and it is a one-time injection. The epidural, on the other hand, is actually a catheter that is placed into the epidural space and left there for the entirety of the time that you need to be given the medication. Because the spinal medication is injected directly into the spinal fluid, it also works instantly. The epidural, on the other hand, takes a lot longer to take effect. With the epidural, you have a lot more sensitivity and a lot more mobility and strength to the lower part of your body. You are able to wiggle your toes. You have some strength in your legs. You don't have a whole lot of strength. You can't be lifting, but it is very possible to still be able to move around in bed and change positions. I was able to squat and change positions a hundred times with my epidural. With the spinal, you are not able to do that as you are fully numb and lose complete strength of everything below like halfway down your belly. After you have a spinal, it's recommended that you lay down completely flat for about one to two hours. And this is to prevent uh, spinal fluid leaks that can cause major headaches and other issues. Uh, you are very closely monitored by a nurse for that first hour or two. With the epidural on the other hand, because the epidural never actually goes into the spinal, um, fluid and, and into that sac, then there is no really um, potential for that fluid to leak out. And so that is not a problem with the epidural. So do they feel different? Yes. The injection itself doesn't really feel any different. It feels just about like a bee stinging your back, which I know is not comfortable at all. But in comparison to contractions, <laughs> it actually feels kind of good knowing that you're going to have some relief. Uh, and as I mentioned before, the spinal works instantly. And so the sensation of that is fantastic. The second that you have that shot, you don't have another contraction. With an epidural, like I said, it takes much longer. And so you may have five, six, seven, eight contractions. Uh, sometimes the epidural medication doesn't go into the right place. Sometimes it can take a really long time. When I got my epidural for my second son, I, it didn't really work properly and then only worked on one side for a while and then it finally started work, working fully the way that it was supposed to after about an hour and a half. So I had a lot of contractions as I was contracting every like two to three minutes in between that. Um, with the spinal, it was not like that. The spinal, I got that shot and then my midwife said, this is the last contraction you're going to have or right before I had it, I had a contraction. She said, this is the last contraction you're gonna have. And it was, it worked instantly. The feeling of the spinal was super wild. As soon as I got that shot, it felt like they took a bucket of water and poured it down my butt cheeks. It felt like warm liquid going down my butt cheeks and down my legs. They laid me down immediately as you start losing strength within seconds and you are laid down immediately. And within one minute, I was not able to wiggle my toes. When I had my epidural with my first son, it worked exactly the way that it was supposed to, but it still took about 20 minutes to take full effect. So I had quite a few contractions in between when I got the shot and when I finally wasn't able to feel it. They do, however, get less and less intense as the medication starts to take effect. Also, because the epidural is put into a catheter, you do have the option of having more medication if you are feeling that the medication is not working enough or um, if it starts wearing out, you do have a little button that you can push. There is a limit so you don't overdose on epidural medication, uh, but you are able to have a little bit more control over how much medication you're actually taking in. Since the spinal is a one-time injection, there is no option for getting more medication put in, uh, but like I mentioned before, it numbs you 
completely so you don't really have the need for more medication. If you have an epidural already put in and you end up with an emergency c-section, most of the time they will just give you more medication through the epidural that you already have in um, rather than taking that out and giving you an injection. In some cases, if the c-section ends up being a real emergency and they don't have time to give you more medication through the epidural, they will give you general anesthesia and put you all the way under anesthesia anesthesia oh my god why can i never pronounce that so which is better well they're each best for their own scenario epidurals are best for labors and vaginal deliveries as the medication will work a lot longer and you are able to receive more medication so if your labor so if your labor is taking a long time, you are able to stay numb throughout that long extended period of time. Also, since you have a little bit more mobility and strength and control of your own body, it does work way better when you're actually pushing out a baby as you are able to feel a little bit of your contractions. Sometimes, depending on when they give you the medication, it might have worn out a lot. Um, and then you have a lot of control, which makes it way easier to push. Spinals are best for planned c-sections as they work so quickly and numb you so well. They really are the perfect thing for going into surgery, being able to get someone numb, get them cut open and out of surgery room quickly. And speaking of c-sections, if you're interested in seeing the birth of my third son, he was born via c-section, gentle c-section. I have his birth vlog right here you can click on it thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one bye